The feeling is like I'm a baby. I feel like I'm a baby. I see people walking and it looks so easy. It's like, I want to do that, but my brain can't do it. My body can't do it. I'm using all these muscles I've never used before. I'm Graham Ezzy. I'm a pro windsurfer. Today I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm learning to wing foil. This is my first time. I don't even know how this stuff works. Let's see how I do. This is our front wing. We have our mast. So we put the mast into the front wing and then this piece goes on top. This is to help connect it to the board. I've got some screws here in this little bag. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start screwing. Hey, how's it going? No, that would be the best photobomb ever. I've never done this before. This is my first time. How do you steer the, the wing to go upwind? So like windsurfing where you're raking it back? More, it, it is bringing the strut back, mm -hmm. but not eating in. Mm -hmm. Bringing it back, mm -hmm. pulls you down there. Think of when you do a cut back off the lip. Right. You're shooting out. Yep. So to turn up there, you're shooting out, but you're bringing the wing back. Got it. I'm doing something wrong there. This is wrong. These, these screws are too long. See, if I'd looked at all the screws before I started, I would have known that. All right, we get the short screws in there and we're good to go. This is pretty easy. We're almost done. All right, I gotta connect it on this side. All right, we got the wing set up. Nice and sandy. <laughs> Try and get it on the board. Oops, lost one. We're just gonna try and click these things in. Yeah, look at that, they just click in. This is for sure the best way to do it. I don't know if there's a correct way to tighten these. I'm gonna do it kind of like putting a tire on a car where I'm gonna do this and then the opposite. Now it's time to pump up the wing. I've got a 3-1. I don't know if it's the right size. The other option's a 5-0. That seems too big. I'm scared to go too big. So I'm gonna go on the 3-1. Here's the valve. Probably do this with my back to the wind. We're all set up. I'm changed. I consider it a success. <laughs> The feeling is like I'm a baby. I feel like I'm a baby where I see people walking and it looks so easy. It's like, I want to do that, but my brain can't do it. My body can't do it. I'm do it using all these muscles I've never used before. At first it felt so shaky. At first I couldn't even stand on the board. I was wobbling all over the place. I felt so awkward. It felt so stupid. I regretted doing it. I regretted filming it. But at the same time, there's the voice in the back of my head that's saying, you know, this, this is what's important. It's important to do hard things. It's important to do new things. It's important to push yourself. And, and that voice kept me going, kept me going through as I'm shaking and, and persevering, trying to figure it out. I had a little sneaky tip from Alan Cadiz on the beach um, telling me that you know my, my wing tip was hitting the water. and saying rather than trying to pull it up, you wanna push down with the backhand and that then lifts the wing and that's what gets the tip out of the water. That helped me a lot. Uh, I feel like now I'm at the point where I understand how the wing works more or less. I can go in and out. And the next step is learning how to foil. I don't have really any foil experience on a windsurf or on a surfboard. So I'm figuring out the foil for the first time. And this is the challenge now. The wind seems to have dropped off a little bit. I felt like I needed more power. So I put on a 5.0, bigger wing. I'm gonna see how it goes.
Whew. I just got out of the water. First day winging, and I have to say, I'm humbled. I'm bruised, I'm a little bit cut up, but most of all, I'm humbled. You know, I've been a pro windsurfer for almost two decades. I started when I was 15, I'm 32. That was a journey of mastery for me where I put in my hours. I was really conscious of getting in the hours. You know, I try to get in the water three hours every day. I can think something and then do it. It's an amazing feeling, but you know, that feeling of discomfort, that feeling of being off balance is learning. And so that means that in my windsurfing, I'm no longer learning, or at least not learning as much. It's this fine tuning, these small steps. And since COVID, because there were no windsurfing World Cups, I got into high level coaching. And so I was coaching other pros and high level amateurs. And one of the things that I talk about is embracing the beginner mindset. That feeling of discomfort, because if you feel comfortable, you're not learning, or at least you're not learning much. And so you have to embrace that feeling of discomfort, embrace that feeling of being off balance, seek it out. If you're not falling, you're not learning. So if you want to learn new things, you have to find the, the moments where you're off balance, push yourself past your comfort zone. And it's hard and it can be demoralizing. And so like one of the techniques that I use is to focus on the, the, the baby steps, right? So I'm not focusing on, okay, do I get flying on the wing and just get going, uh, which ultimately is my goal, right? Of course, it's everyone's goal in, in the sport, wing foiling. Um, but you know, I'm focusing, okay, can I just get the wing out of the water? And, and I'm not talking about the foil, just the wing. Can I get upwind? Can I just go back and forth with the wing? And so I get to those points and then, okay, can I get going? And then can I get just up on the foil? And then focusing on the, these like tiny details and that keeps your mind occupied. It helps you not get demotivated. You know, so I, I realized, okay, I have to stand more forward on the board. I have to keep the board down to pick up more speed because the foil wants to fly too early. Well, I'm not going fast enough. So then it rises up and then I crash back down. So I've got to keep it low to pick up speed and then it will just start to come out of the water and I can fly like that. And I got it. You know, I was so happy. I had a run, you know, I had a few runs. I don't know how far I went. You know, it felt like forever. It felt like nothing. It was five seconds, five minutes. You know, it was probably 30 seconds going. I don't know how, how far, but that feeling, it felt so effortless and so magical but it only happened through that discomfort, through that feeling of being off balance. I don't want to get philosophical about it, but I do think there is something important about embracing the beginner's mind, embracing that feeling of discomfort and learning new things and pushing yourself to learn new things, get out of that comfort zone. Let me know in the comments, what, what was the last thing that you did that challenged you, where you felt uncomfortable and you pushed through it and you learned something new? And what is the next thing that you're going to do where you're going to embrace the beginner mindset and learn something new? You know, I'm going to keep up with the foiling, keep embracing my beginner mindset with the wing foiling. You're not going to see it. This is just for today. I'm going to do that on my own. But let, let us know. I'm Graham Ezzy. You can follow me on my channels, on the Dekine channels. I'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us.